Artsy Gamer 7 and welcome back to some of the female gaming legs through challenge. So we're back right where I left off. I wanted to record one more time. Um partially because I'm just having I, I I'm so excited to be back to playing these like ugh. But um <laughs> also I'm sort of excited to see the babies or baby. I'm hoping for babies, so that's why I'm like babies. I'm trying to enchannel it in her because I've already decided that her having a few more kids would explain the whole thing. I think there is one generation that is supposed to have quite a few kids, um, but I think one's supposed to be adopted um, when we get there. But yeah, um, her having like three or four kids might explain, like, you know, that would also be a reason why money is a little bit stretched. But that being said, uh, Nathan here is planting things. It's weird little... I move stuff around over here. Um, what happens over there? I don't know why it's got those black things there, but um, I'm having him. Something was ready to evolve. Where? There. Um, been having him work on some plant-related like things. So, uh, but I will actually, and they're both take family leave today, so neither one of them is going to why does she randomly go talk to the plant i don't know but um we're actually going to recycle some more just recycle food trying to get this uh master maker thing you know i probably could have worked from home i could have probably did the work from home thing and since I have this now. I might do that in the next, like, the next time she has to go back to work when she can no longer take family leave. Just have her work at home for a day or two before I have to go in, back physically in. So we've done that. So let's actually work on... I know making those can be pretty important, so we're going to work on that. And he eventually needs to evolve five different plants, but I'm going to get him to go down here. Partially because once they leave the lot, their phones actually start working. <laughs> more, so there's more options. And I was going to get, is there like a donate, to, is that only on the computer? That may only be on the computer. I wanted to donate to charity, but I think there's a volunteer. I don't even know how much you can donate at a time. Because otherwise I would just say that he went to go donate. I think a thousand's the most you can, or maybe 10,000. I think it's somewhere. I think it's like in the hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, maybe. Um, so I'm just gonna make him walk really far away, and we're just going to pretend that he went and donated like ten thousand. So that would take me down to this. <laughs> to oh wait, I think I can do Oop. negative. I'm about to do that. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. We donated money. All right. For them to dislike gardening, they like talking to plants a lot. Just saying. Anyway, so I guess she's fabricated. This might be risky for a pregnant woman to fool with this machine because this machine can drag you in. And I'm pretty sure there is a death by this machine, if I remember correctly. I just haven't got to witness it myself. So... But I know the game is pretty generous when it comes to pregnant ladies also. So maybe the machine is. Because she doesn't feel good. I get it. You have back pain. I understand. I get back pain all the time. Granted, I'm not pregnant. I just have a big chest region and a slight curve on my back and was ran over by the four once in my life. But, you know. Still, I didn't want to go to him. I wanted him to come to the house. <laughs> so yeah, he went to donate money and now he's coming back. So he's he's starting to change, you know. Like, 
don't, I don't need all this, uh, to live. I mean, look at us here. We're, we're doing pretty well for ourselves, and we barely have anything. So, yeah. My windmill doesn't have enough power right now. <laughs> Maybe I should buy another windmill. But yeah, so now we got a few more windmills. Hopefully, getting power. I mean, apparently we have extra, so... Just not enough extra. Yeah, he come back to plant the rest of those, because apparently he didn't finish planting all of them. But hey, she's feeling pretty decent. Oh, is this food still good? Three hours. Um, I'm gonna... Extend it a little bit longer by putting it in the fridge. The fridge. I will say, like, with Velvet, I purposely made sure that she was, like, eating strawberries and listening to pop music. And then with, you know, her second pregnancy, she's eating carrots and listening to alternative music. I do not have strawberries or carrots if I wanted that or a music device, so... Fingers crossed there is a female in here because I am, at least for me and my purpose of playing the Female Gaming Legacy Challenge, trying to keep them all female um, heirs. So I'm hoping that there is at least one female baby. I'm hoping for maybe more babies, but as long as one of them is a female. But uh, hey, when are you uh, going into labor yet? Oh, I can't resume it. Well, this sucks. Okay, scrap fabrication. You know, since she's pregnant. <laughs> and again, I'm just trying to waste money when I can't. <laughs> Probably safer for her to read about fabrication right now than actually do it. Where's her brother? Oh, don't die. There's a death associated to this, so. I, got, I like the werewolf one because... It looked like they threw it together, or like they found it at a dumpster and tried to repair it. Again, it's what we're, you know, we made some of the things, or salvaged some of these things. That's <laughs> what we're going with. <laughs> um, this little squirrel's having the time of his life. Look at him. Look at him go. So did she go up in that skill? Yes. Yes, she did. Okay. So that's good. That is one more thing. When people trust you, Amicia, they listen to you. And that- No! <laughs> I don't want another job! I mean, thank you all, but no! I mean, she's gonna go to sleep until she goes into labor. That's sort of what I'm just waiting on. You, sir! I'm gonna make you- Read the cooking book. Uh, just just recycle every once in a while, but right now we're waiting. Because I don't want to get too active in anything. Well, she's a speckling baby. Um, but I would say we can... Is this volume one? Volume one. We can read volume one. This was a little dangerous too, but it's fine. Got to make up for that one that we had a scrap. So... Like getting this fabrication skill up. Getting this fabrication skill up. Why did you decide to stand to read it? I mean... Sure. I was in the middle of getting a sip of water. She has gone into labor. So, time for the baby. Yay. Uh, you can finish reading this when we get home. I forgot it's Harvest Fest. Have baby at hospital. We're gonna join her. And obviously, Nathan's gonna go with us. So, let's go! I don't... His last, his last name was Nichols, right? Okay, so... We are here at the hospital. No, I don't... Yeah. So... Okay, so I could do the stuff here. Um... This is apparently maternity. 
One of the things with this mod, you... I have to add a little... It's like the little bouncy ball that actually helps you dilate more. So, otherwise you could be sitting here for a while. But I sort of like the fact that it's more realistic. But anyway, so give me a moment. Okay, I got it. I, I just put it here for now because I didn't want to move around this whole hospital to get this. Did her... Oh, her water already broke. So yeah, you could do this to... She's still apparently leaking. Uh, <laughs> that sounds weird to say. Um, so you could do this. You can also walk around the place. Um, but you have to check here. Oh, we know her. So I always ask her to be our obstetrician. Oh, she's also pregnant. <laughs> I, I feel like that hug would not have happened that way. So so we're both pregnant, but uh, she's not in labor right now. It's going to be real bad if she's doing all this for us and we go into labor. <laughs> like, so how how far are we? Only two centimeters. Okay, well, that's gonna be like a lot of exercise, and we gotta do right there. <laughs> a lot of exercise and some walking. We gotta do a lot of stuff. <laughs> See, I've had her bouncing on this ball for a bit. I'm also gonna let her go around walking one time. Go for a walk. So, just, you know, trying to do a little bit of everything to make sure that when we go in next time, we are like super close. Um, I will say I think she's at the front desk, so maybe I shouldn't ask her also where she's pregnant. So I'm gonna ask this lady <laughs> to check my dilation. Let's not annoy my friend who is also pregnant <laughs> with checking whether or not. Good thing like the reception's really close to the- I bet she really likes it, that she works right here and the bathroom's right there. I bet she's like- <laughs> We're still walking around. Okay, I didn't think the walking around went this long. Of course, she's taking a really erratic path around this hospital. <laughs> so there's also that. Oh, she's gonna pass out. So that's a thing. Let's try this again. Will you check my dilation? <laughs> Before I fall asleep again. We're doing this. <laughs> How far dilated am I? If it's like nine, we can go ahead and do the epidural. No. It's not nine, but she's very sleepy, so I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna let her sleep. Where's Nathan? He's downstairs. We're back to the exercise ball, and then we're going to get her ZD, I think is her name, to try to check us again and hope. Let's hope. Let's hope the nap. And the ball. Things happened. So, uh, hopefully. Um, don't know where she keeps going. Oh, she keeps going all the way up there. Is she like the head nurse lady? So where are we at? Okay, so now we can do the epidural, which I think the way that they do the epidural, I don't... At least, uh, so, my friend, one of my friends, she... That I was actually with when she had the baby. The Eberdor was done differently and there was it was actually like attached to her back the whole time. So I don't know if they've changed Eberdorals or if this was just an easy way to animate this or what, but um You didn't give me an Eberdoral yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, um Pretty sure that they don't I don't think they use. I think at one point they used a needle, but for her, I don't think it was a needle, or at least not directly in. Like it was like a tube thing. I don't know. It was weird. Um, it was still attached to her. So she's gonna go get some food. Nine centimeters dilated, upper door in, and she walks to go get some food. Pretty sure that wouldn't happen. <clears throat> okay, so now she is fully dilated, so we can actually. 
So this is gonna change. This is not gonna look the same. Just gotta figure out which way she's laying on it. There she goes. So yeah. And technically he's supposed to come in here, but I've had it work one time and then not work the other time. So, but yeah, so. Baby tab. So yeah, this is more like the natural, natural way of having a baby. Yeah, so he didn't come in here. I don't even know if he can get in here now. Because this is really close to the door. <laughs> baby? Oh. <gasps> yes, it's a girl. Yes. So I am going to go ahead and... I think it was... His was spelled... Strange. I feel like... Maybe not. Maybe it's this, Nichols. Um, I'll fix it if it's wrong. But, our next generation is Rouge from the Sonic series. So, I'm gonna name this one Rouge. Is there any more? <gasps> there is- oh, it's a boy! Okay. So, go ahead and fix that name. And I actually have a will. I've made wills for last names, female boy names, and unisex names. So, uh, just for moments like these so that I don't fiddle with my name book and figure out what in the world to name the baby. So let me... Spin my lovely wheel over here and figure out what this child is going to be called. Avon. Okay, so this is going to be Avon. My keyboard doesn't like me. Yeah, I have a new keyboard. I mean, it came with my new computer because I didn't want to buy a keyboard just yet. But certain buttons don't work. Like if I, sh my one shift doesn't capitalize my A. But one shift does. Like, it's really weird how it doesn't work. Like, it, it, they technically all work, but some of them don't properly. So, yeah, she had twins. So, yeah, now she should actually hold them at some point. Do you, would you actually, when you're having twins, would you be holding one while still, I don't think so. I could be wrong. But, yeah. Now there's two babies. Two babies. So we did have multiples. Oh gosh, I can hear them crying. <laughs> I hear them crying already. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so now we have two babies. And they should be sent home and we should also go home. And we immediately have two- no, 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 no. Usually, usually the other people don't know what to do, and we just need to feed them. Feed. Feed. So, they're back. Um, we'll say if the fertile trait keeps kicking in for him, they might only end up- okay. Come on. Um. No. No. <laughs> I'm glad you want to be a good uncle and help out, but, um, could you not? <laughs> Let me get in there, please. <laughs> and get to my child. Thank you. Um. What was I even saying now? Don't remember. <laughs> Dang it. Um, earlier I was talking about how I'm probably just gonna do the upstairs thing. So this will probably be stairs and like something else. Like just an extra room, maybe storage room in some ways. And stairs also. Because right now we can put them in our room. That's perfectly fine. Uh, because they're, they're little babies and even toddlers like they could technically share a room as toddlers and it'd be fine but when they start getting into kids and especially teens um, 
they will not be happy to be sharing a room. If they have to, they have to. And in some ways, it might would make sense for the, Ro the Rouge generation to want to have, like, a big giant house and a different way of living because maybe she had to share a room. But, um... Oh, I was talking about other pregnancies also. Because technically, if the fertile trait keeps kicking in, she might only have, like, two pregnancies. Um, but if she does have another set of twins or triplets, we were in the hospital all day. <laughs> then, technically, they still might would have to share a room. Um, or at least with one of the kids. It may be a situation where... If there's another girl, she has another girl, the girl share room and the boy share room, so on and so forth. I think I want them to be tinier rooms for the, per the fact that, again, the Rouge generation wants something more than what she grew up with. So she's already being fussier than her brother. So there's that. <laughs> Good start. Good start already. Why do you want to vomit? What? Why? I didn't know, but okay. I could order some food. Like a grocery delivery? Could I have gotten... Let's get some milk. And some cheese. Maybe some cocoa berries. Can only get two of those. That's fine. Um, get some eggs. Uh, some flour. Some of this other stuff we can slowly get on our own. Maybe. Hopefully. Could I have gotten the strawberry this way? Because if so, it's sort of annoying. Get some tomatoes, because I don't have tomatoes yet. Um, get some get some other meat. Um, this technically isn't living off the land, but until we start sustaining some more fruits and stuff... Our grocery order's here! Yay! He is currently fixing food, though. Um. Let me get him to stop doing what he's doing. Thank you! I'm going to unload the delivery bag. So it went in the fridge, right? Okay. Good. And then I had him fixing some food, so I'm gonna have to... Interest earn. Oh, you're making this really hard for me to not have money. <laughs> I really don't need Jackson working anymore. <laughs> At this point. Then feed that child. Make sure the children are okay. And then... Stupid dumb move out of my way. <laughs> then we're gonna fabricate, fabricate because... We need to. Actually, we need to pee. We're also apparently hungry. So, forget my plans. I'm gonna work from home. <laughs> I don't feel like going in the work today. Did I just put the... Scavenge for parts. I guess I gotta scavenge for parts and then... Hello? You try for that I just had two bundles of joys myself. You should try for that baby. Perform a handiness or eco parts upgrade on an appliance. It's an off the grid thing. Upgrade. I need. Sure. <laughs> we'll donate. Take our money. Um I need to upgrade. Eco upgrade part. Eco. I need more eco upgrades. See, so if I get more eco upgrades, I can hopefully upgrade this. Also, what is this? What do I do? 
Submit a missable concept to the... How do, do I need to make a concept first? Just... I see that the machine gotcha. Try this again then. People, person, lifestyle. Okay. Okay, so then we can. What? I have them. Oh, I need. Do I need three? So it's telling me I need one more? Is that what's going on? I'm confused. Okay, I made an- okay, that's what it was. I made another part. So now I can get her to do that. Nah. There's a child cry. Change dirty diaper. Hold on just a little bit longer, child. Hold on. Gotta, f gotta fix this upgrade. Gotta do it. I'm coming. Don't, don't mind my crazy die face. So how... Uh... Oh, great. Now the other one is... Leave me alone. I'm covered in dye. I have babies crying around me and I need to finish my my thing. Where, where'd my thing go? Oh, it's still floating in the air because that makes sense. But yeah, so we do have two new children. We have that. We are working on our fabrication skill. We got it up a little bit more. Um... Hopefully, if I get this done, we actually get promoted in the next episode. So look forward to that. We also have some crops going out here, so we can eventually sell some of those. We got some of these going on. Um, got a lot of things that we could do in the next episode. Okay, so that thing glitched out real, real hard. But um, as I'm finishing the episode here i'm gonna have her do that but thank you so so much for watching i hope you like this episode if so hit that lovely like button subscribe comment share you know all that lovely youtube goodness i hope you're looking forward to the next episode and seeing these two age up because hopefully that will not happen in the next episode but yeah anyway i'll see you in the next one until then bye bye <laughs>